Hello world and welcome back, I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North and this is Europa Universalis 4 featuring the MEIO and Taxes mod, definitely check that out, it is spectacular. All the DSC Epkin including Mari and Austria, which means are still in 1.17 so we don't have the Rights of Man patch or the Denmark patch yet. But, um, here's what we've got. It's episode 75, right? Which blows my mind that we're actually already this far into the series. Um, but it's... Episode divisible by five, so here is the census. Whoop! Right? Now, there's a lot of information on here. But, yeah, I just want to draw your attention to a couple of things. One is our religious division. We've got Catholic. We've got Reformed. We've got Protestant. We've got Sunni. We've got uh, West African spiritualist, right? We are a polyglot... I, that's not even the right word. But we are a... a we're a mix, mash, of a bunch of different religions and cultures. Which means, I, I don't really think we're a republic anymore. I kind of think we're an empire. We are a republican empire. We're both sides of... We are Star Wars. Right? We're the Galactic Federation or something. I don't know. But the point is, we've got a lot of religious issues going on. And what I need to do is I need to start streamlining this. Otherwise, these things are going to start biting me in the butt really, really soon. Um, so there's that. Another thing is... Um, the territories that we took from Zafunu in West Africa, like uh, Audagost uh, and Galam and Tagant, are actually quite good. I mean, Audagost, Audagost is 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 a level thirty city. That's huge. I mean, that's that's in that's that's pretty advanced compared to some of my other cities. I mean, Dusseldorf isn't even a level city. Isn't even a level thirty. So I mean. Like, that's, that's really good. Like, most of my cities are still in the 20s, but we do could, took a really, really good one in West Africa. And I could make these into into a trading uh, into a trading company, but uh, I, no, I, I'd rather actually take control over them um, my, myself. Because I know that I'm going to start losing um, my territories in the Caribbean, uh, specifically this one right here. Uh, I'm going to start losing them as soon as as they start developing a little bit more, and then they start forming their own uh, uh, col colonial state uh, after that. So I, I like to have direct control over a lot of things. So let's 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 leave it like that. I might actually even start you know moving into uh, the Caribbean a little bit more. There. Oh oh, somebody is coming in. England is starting to colonize the Caribbean. We might come to loggerheads with England. Hmm. But as it stands right now, um, we're just trying to, you know, regain a little bit of what we've done. And I, and I, okay. Uh, march from Lorraine? No, I do not want a march in Lorraine. I want to incorporate Lorraine. That's, that's how this works. Um, actually, Lille is coming along, as is Namer, quite well. Barakna, Tagant, and Takrur are a little bit further behind. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, you can build province improvements. Hey, we're gaining control over Barakna. That's, that's not bad. That's always a good thing. Um, let's see, what can we start building? I don't want to... I, I would like to save up my money a little bit. Just for some things. I can go do Maastricht or Breda. I can convert them, but that'll take, what? hundred years? No, thank you. I'm not committing to that much of, of a uh, of a financial output. Some of my provinces lack cores. Let us core them then. Let's make Galam. Let's core Galam. A truce with Holland has ended. Oh, boohoo. Okay. Holland will no longer transfer trade power. Yeah, the transfer of the trade power was just uh, war reparations. It was, it, it, was, it was a result of that. So I'm not really too surprised that that's, that's the way it is. Um, we've lost effects of trading in beer. <gasps> no. Stability cost modifier. That's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're behind. We've done a lot of incorporating things over the last five episodes or so. So I just want to, you know, sit back. This is the census. Let's just sit back. Let's take stock of things. Let's let my manpower grow. I mean, I have 15 out of 109,000 possible. So we're really far behind in that. We're also developing um, some claims on Burgundy. I want to vassalize them. And uh, once I take Burgundy, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm just going to have to start... Go, oof. Maybe I start taking Milan down to size? I don't know. Is Milan even still in the Empire? 
No, no. Italy has been removed from the Empire, so I can attack them freely, not even needing to worry about the Empire. Oh. Molly has been discovered we're building a spy network. That's fine. I don't care about Molly. Um... Yeah, we're getting a lot of money. We're getting a lot of money now. Lo Noble Legacy of Zvoda. I can gain a claim on Friesland. No, they're already my vassals. I don't want to... I don't, I don't, I don't want to, to get a claim on them. I mean, I'm going to incorporate them anyways, but let's let's make Audagust a core. There we go. Um... <coughs> Pardon me. Noble legacy, noble legacy of Audagost. Uh, again, a claim on Bagena. Interesting. Which is Mali. Hmm. I will do that. I now have a Casaspella against... Well, I will have a Casaspella against Mali. Now. Now. Do, do I not... Is that going to pop up? Did I already have a Casaspella against Mali? Is that? I have no diplomats to send. Uh, okay. Interesting. Not really, not not really sure what that's about. But yeah, I would love to start expanding through here, connecting these territories, and that would be wonderful. That would be really, really wonderful. Um, but Molly really still doesn't like me because of my aggressive expansion. But that's okay, because you know what? You know what? I'm going to smash them down anyways. So, I'm fine with that. Good. We no longer have low manpower. Let's get our manpower up. You know, that, that's going to be my goal. Paganism is in decline. Lose one unrest in Kunta Kinte. Infest... Plague. Plague. Oh, boy. Plague. Um, the plague cometh. All right. So, where where is the plague? I can lose two hundred thirty two ducats. I can lose six hundred ninety six now. Hire every plague doctor and a coin for every corpse taken from the street. Uh, I can't really afford military uh, um, diplomatic power. I'm still, I'm already behind in technology. Um, hmm. I mean, I can't. I, I, <clears throat> I can't do the final option, even though that would be great because I just don't have the money for that. Um, this will reduce things the least. Hire every plague doctor. Add a coin from every corpse taken from the street. Let's do that. Hopefully, that will mitigate the effects of plague by a little bit. It actually will by a quarter. That's how the game works. But hopefully, it will it will prevent it from spreading nearly so much. Hackensack. Hey, good. I should play that in university. <laughs> That's Hacky Sack. Different. Actually, I never played Hacky Sack. Hacky Sack is a silly game. Um, minorities flock to Magua. <clears throat> These so-called pilgrims are following the Reformed faith, which is an abomination to our Catholic Church. They are following a wicked faith and will most likely perish in the colonies. The natives will deal with them. Change province religion... Yeah, Magua is now Reformed. Religion of Magua changes to Reformed. Gain 400 population in Magua, which will put them... Over the limit, which means Magua is now self-sustaining, which means I get to 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 change it. So you know what? Uh, Hispaniola will become a state. Yes, Hispaniola is now a state, but I need a name. I need a name. Actually, who who founded Magua? Who who is my colonist that is available? Arnsberg. So let's call this Arnsberg. There we go. Arnsberg is now fantastic. I mean, Arnsberg was fantastic before, but I need to core it. I do not have the four available, but Isfahan has internal conflicts. There we go. Arnsberg is now a core. Fantastic. But, hey, Neymar is now a core. Yay! Fantastic. We have gained a core province. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to go look up some names because I forgot to do that before. So I'll be I'll be right back. 
I'll be right back. Alright, so I've checked out some of these names, and we've got Ernsberg there. We're going to leave that. It's named after the guy that founded it, which is fine by me. But I've also got some other names listed, uh, written down on my list, which I could use just to, um, you know, give it a little bit more of a Germanic flair. We have gained the colonial Casus Belli against Iroquois. They are primitives. Okay. I can make states. I can make Wallonia a state. Yes, yeah, so now that I have Namer. Wallonia is now a full-fledged state. Let's... Uh, spend even more to make it a full-fledged core. I can see why Diplo annexing is actually a thing. Um, happy merchants are very good. That's very, very good. Very, very good. Spreading the faith. We've done God's work. Um, we've brought Catholic faith to the heathens. Why? Is it because Ardensburg is Catholic? No, Ardensburg is not Catholic. Um, I, I do not know. It's because Arguin? No, that was a while back. I mean, Yosasavin, that was a while back. I don't know. Adirondack and Oneida. Alright. But anyways. Uh, Colner Peasants. Uh, there's a few fairies we can keep that starts out. I will never... Never do 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 that. Um, okay, so Namer needs to become a full-fledged state core. Which is unfortunate. Um, I'm still really far behind in terms of converting people. It's definitely a problem. Norway. Civil war in Norway. Civil war way? Program against Catholic faith. Congo di Anlanza. Okay, don't know where that is. Um, gifted reformed Christian. There's always room for talented men. Army organizer? Uh, Pinnacle. These are all just other people exploring North America and just telling me, you know, what they've got. Um, hmm. Let's build a... Oof. These are really, really far away. Um, no, I want to save up, start building some of the, the larger, more impressive things. I mean, I'm getting 17.26 a month. That's good. Nobles demand recompensation. They can lose stability or lose 431 ducats. No. Nope, sorry guys. Plague strikes again. Joy. Joy. I don't even know where that is, and I don't even really care. Suffice it to say, it is too much. Our truce with Jenna has ended. And now, core namer. There we go. I can now convert a bunch of people. Smallpox plague has hit the natives. Natives in Guanabo have lost a thousand in size. Um... Do, do I want to start sending a missionary to like Maastricht, Breda, Colon? No, it's it's still a little bit too too low for me. Plague strikes again. Yay. So where is the plague kicking around? Koblenz, Munster, Hasselt. Great. The entire southern part of my territories. Um, that's considered an inland African province. It's an Arab tribal area. Huh. Um. Protestant contacts. We will, we will charge them for that privilege. There we go. Of trading in my... In our republic. I'm sorry, did I say my republic? I meant our republic. Anyways. um, Yeah. Yeah, we're so very, very close. Census, let's look at the books. Your notable capital. A few building opportunities. Yeah. All of these things. Colner peasants, plague strikes again. Bentheim, Brugge, and Maastricht, and Munster again. Wow, this is. This is gonna take a lot. Morocco has raided the coasts of Petershafen and Josefshafen. It took zero sailors, but four gold. Jerks. I should be able to get a, the, a declaration of war. I should be able to get a Casus Bella against them for that. I mean, Morocco literally just has these tiny, few little countries. Um. Am I close enough to actually? No, I would need to. I would need to get there, in order to get a, a a claim on them. Unless I wanted to, you know, buy this from Spain. Oh, but I doubt it. I doubt that's gonna happen. Really, I do. Um, where's Burgundy? Is Burgundy's capital here? No, where is Burgundy's capital now? Bagua has become... Maguana has become self-sustaining. So, Maguana is going to be called... 
who who had Maguana? Uh, Arnsberg is free. Oh yeah, I forgot to send him. So Maguana is Munden, Egon Munden. So he's gonna call this. Hey, Egon Munden is going to call this territory is going to be. Uh, Munden's Bucht, which means Munden Bay. There we go, Munden's Bucht. Hey, I like that. Good. Which means we can now send one settler to Marion and one settler as soon as he comes back. There we go, to Char Haragua. And then we've got Hispaniola, which is going to be called, um. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, Monday's book lacks cores. So let's deal with that. I should probably start building a um an army over here. What what is my get another four? Uh provincial unrest. I mean Joseph Safin, Bolo, Brachna. Hey, we have gained a core on Brachna. Excellent, Brackna is now part of my lands, which means no, uh, we're still Yeah, th this this missionary thing is I I don't know. I, I don't I don't really know how they're calculating their stuff, but um let's build a church. There we go. There we go. Just because I figure you know the, the they are Catholic places. Actually no, technically Arnsberg is reformed, but um but I figured they'd, they'd, they'd build churches there. And this. The Brits. Let's... Is anybody else colonizing anywhere around? Um... No. I mean, we've got a little bit of Portugal up there. Kunta Quinte. Oh. Zealous religious head happened to us. Excellent. Which means... The minus 0.6 missionary strength modifier is dropped. In fact, tolerance of heretics and heathens is dropped, which will make my my um, my missionaries more effective. So I might actually start being able to to change things. But Kunta Kinte is now Festung Babra. Festung Babra. There we go. Festung Babra will build nothing right now. But I can start... Should be able to... There we go, see? See, 77? That's a... That's that's a much... Much better. I have too many diplomatic relations. Lorraine, Nassau, Spain, whatever. You know what? I will, I will pay that extra one just to have Spain as an ally. Right? Let's make... Koln... Back to... Let's bring Koln back to... Back to the flock if you will. Um, I'm like, where, where did my, where did my diplomat go? But I think that was probably loyal religious head is, had something to do with that. Or is a temporary modifier. Either way, it was a temp temporary modifier. Um, anyway, Festing Bebra. There we go. Good. Good. Artemis Munden's court to maintain the same type of court. There we go. And that's why I didn't have enough diplomatic relations. And that also means that my sp did my spy network in Mali get crushed by uh, by dropping that? Oh no, it, it maintained. The, the modifier was maintained. So, uh, Burgundy, right? I want to fabricate a claim. I need 40. There we go. I can now fabricate a claim on... Who do I want to fabricate a claim on? Sudbrabant? Because I want I want to to vassalize them. Sudbrabant. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to take it just yet. I'm not. Let's let this get up to like forty thousand, and then we'll and then we'll talk. Oh, I'm fighting the plague, right? That's why that dropped so much. Um. Yeah, and I'm also in the middle of a plague, so I don't want to start a war. I do not want to start a war. Um, but anyways, we still have one more colonist that we could send out. So where do we want to start? You know what I'm thinking? Do we want to start getting these tiny little islands, like... 
Ascension Island. It's a barren island. Um, I mean, there's, there's not much there. There's not much there. Because it's a barren island, it's it's pretty much just a... Um, like, look at these modifiers for Ascension, right? Local build cost, 50%. Local trade power, minus 50. Like, that's, that's not a good place to, to settle. Um, so, you know what I think we should do? Let's start... Let's get something right here. Right in the middle. Ah, there we go. Let's get that. That's 226, 226. I'm trying to find what the best place to, to settle is. And I can't start there because I don't have access to the coast. What about Tolupan? What about here? 226, and then I can start taking out the Tlaxcala. Um, or I can start going here and then spread out that way. Let's do it here. Excellent. Igwe is good enough to be self-sustaining. And Igwe... Excellent. Igwe is going to be... I think something may have gotten messed up, because Haragua is here. But this one, this city was called Haragua, and this city was called Marion, even though Marion is over here. Um, but Igwe, you are going to be called Saint Saint Ursula, one of the major churches in Köln. Saint Ursula, there we go, and that means that new colonist will be sent to. There we go. The Pope affirms our rights to colonial Hispaniola. Our Catholic countries will no longer have a legal right to take provinces here, and our colonies will grow quicker. Colner Haiti. Colner. Um, no, it'll be Noi. Hmm. Noi Coln. Noi. I wasn't. I wasn't anticipating being able to rename this. Um. Noi. What, would the, what will this island be? Mm. Noi Westfalen. There we go. New Westphalia. There we go. And those three are colonial policies. Okay. As our colonies develop, we must choose a type of colonization, which will determine how our overseas policy holdings are managed. Feudal type, peaceful and tolerant contacts with the natives in our colonies. Trading type or population type. Uh, feudal type, slow development in our provinces, but we gain from the natives. Slightly lower development gain in our provinces. Regular relations with our native neighbors. No causes belly against native neighbors of our colonies. Trading type. Less nasty native-related events, no development in inland provinces of our colonies, low liberty desired gain, an opinion bonus with the native neighbors of our colonies, more population type, nice development in our colonies, slower development increase in our provinces, opinion penalty with native neighbors in our colonies, and shifting to colonial culture will lead to extra liberty desire. Mmm... I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with let's go with trading type. Um okay, development cost minus 25%. They will grow very, very quickly. Balance of heretics. Um, I'm just trying to see what the differences are. Goods produce bonus, more goods, autonomy change. Autonomy will go up, but less up with population. Production efficiency, global trade, global trade power plus thirty-five percent. Huh. This is a good question. Um, trading. Wouldn't that make sense, right? Yeah, let's make that trading. But anyways, you know what? That's the end of this episode. I'm Karhun, the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. You can follow me on Twitter, Karhun Gaming. Follow me on Twitch. 
uh, Cargo Gaming YT. Check out the other videos around my head. You might enjoy those. But on behalf of all the wonderful people of the Colonel Republic and Noe Westfalen, have a wonderful day. Ciao. Uh, auf Wiedersehen and tschüss.